everyone, the internet pedant here with another part of my great Discworld Let's Play. Uh, and now that I've decided that I'm going to uh, cheat my way through the game using a, a guide, uh, the game's found other ways to screw me over, because this is actually the second time recording uh, this part. Um, the first time, I decided I would do the whole video, putting on a <laughs> hilarious impersonation of uh, Penguin Zero, aka Critical. Um, for the whole video, who, if you don't know, he's a let's play with a very distinctive voice. Um, but no, it, it decided not to record the any old letter of the opener in the secret comp. What's this? So, yeah, that might uh, have screwed that. Say, <clears throat> this should get me out past those goons who guard the city gate. There you go, so I've got the gate pass now. That's great. I can do a pretty good impersonation of Penguin Zero. Um, which which was fun. I enjoyed it. It's a shame you're not going to get to hear it because I probably won't try again. Uh, do check out his videos. Though. He's much better let's play than I am. Uh, pardon me. Right now, basically we've just gone and got the city pass. You know, stole it from that guy. That you know, the guy in the pub who told us about how this weird apparition had appeared. Yeah, that was us. <laughs> Surprise. Um, but of course that wasn't enough, you had to go and speak to him again after you'd been there for him to tell you a little bit more of the story. Isn't that fun? Okay. <sighs> Over here. Got to talk to the uh, lovable street starfish. Who of course was an urchin and then it, we kind of changed it. That isn't suspicious. What was the handshake you did? What handshake? The one you just did then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. I wish my mouse wasn't so clicky. You know, it's, it, you can pick it up on these videos, and I'd like it if it was quieter. Like that. Like what? The handshake. You did it again. Did not. Did too. See, and now I've told you about it, you're going to be noticing it a lot more. I should have kept my mouth shut. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you, it would no longer be a secret, would it? That's a double negative. OK, here's a hint. In the near future, you'll notice that one of the characters accidentally says the other character's line of dialogue. What? See if you can spot it. Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? See? That wouldn't no longer be. Ritzwood was meant to say that. Whoopsie daisy. So? If by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Oh, uh, yes. So, by telling me, it would be a secret. So, you see, it's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Logical. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. He just proved it. The logic seems highly suspect. Nope, makes sense. And? Makes sense based on what you said. What you said wasn't what you meant to say, but God, I hate double negatives. Well, if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper, like... You're a street urchin. Starfish. A street starfish, yes. Yeah. You can't tell me that being a lovable fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you for understanding the vagaries of symbolic logic. And no, that isn't some kind of video editing thing. That line of dialogue is just quieter than the rest for some reason. Well, if you could just prove it by means of a Venn diagram or an if-then-else statement... Which are two completely different things. Can you read? Ah, you've put your finger on a problem area. So just show me the handshake. How do you do it? Couldn't tell you, Gav. Not just like that. Not without an initiation, like. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, he'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real, the substantial. What I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood, being a stereotype classification of... Now look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the secret handshake. Couldn't you have just told us that near the start of the dialogue instead of going through all this random crap? Anyway, right. Yeah. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was implying it was my balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. 
I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Uh, great. Oh, all right. Just give me some donuts. I love the way that this game can't decide whether Rincewind has money on him or not. Wait, no, no, I've gone. Will you shut way. up? <clears throat> Notice how they're seated? Do you want to know how you get them to move around? Because you need them to sit elsewhere. Wait, do you? Actually, no. Wait, no, I'm wrong. Ignore me. Ignore everything I always say ever. Is it this? Yes. Okay, are you ready for another nonsensical solution? Here is a dunny man. Here is a donut. He eats the donut and then he runs away to the barber. I like point and click games, I do, but I sort of demand that there is, hey I wonder, just out of interest while I'm here. That doesn't, oh. now that, that it's doesn't, but he's not there, no, okay. Um, I just hate the fact that in these kind, I like it where the solutions make sense, they're logical solutions, how can I not leave the room? Um, you know, and it's stuff like this that there's no particular reason in character that you would think, hey, I know, I'll Will you feed shut him up a donut, that's going to help me in the future. But it's still what you need to do in the game. Ah, it just annoys me. I'm sorry. We've heard all this What's before. Like this seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Yes, Next! Brilliant, now we get Will you shut it. up and... What? No, but you next. said Next! Will you shut up and sit down? What? Next? Yes, next. Us. Thank you. Oh, good grief. What is up with this game? Ah, another case of repressed neuromogrophosis. No, no, I just forgot to shave. So? Oh, well, maybe another time. Hmm. This man is in no way a reference so, to Sigmund Freud. Just sit down and examine these implants. Actually, uh, tell probably me isn't. what you think of this first picture I present. Ah, well, um, it's a bit ugly. A dead birdie? Mr. Dinosaur's bum? Mr. Dinosaur's bum. I can imagine him seeing a dinosaur's bum, but why Mr. Oh, dinosaur? an emperor penguin fed it on a pool cue. What? Oh, you can keep that one. No, no extra charge. Ah, so. And uh, how about this one? Got grief. Hey? Is that you with a mask on? Whoops. <laughs> Wrong picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. And what about this one? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an elephant's backside. Really? Reminds me of a patient I once had. Mm -hmm. You can keep that one, no, no extra charge. Anyway, how long have you had this uh, fixation uh, that you are a pencil? Mm. Who told you about that? Oh, come now. Listen, it's only a hat, just a hat. It hasn't even got any lead in it. Mm. Uh, very bad case. A pencil case, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps I'd better see you again on Tuesday. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, what is this game I about? Why have I been to see the psychiatrist? Oh, to get some ink blots. Because clearly Rincewind is a chess master and he's, you know, thinking so many steps ahead. Oh, and hey, look, in the time that I've gone outside and gone back inside, you they've up switched around the seats. Because that's the only way puzzles are solved in this room. Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes. Well, probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does he look like? Um, well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish, dark hair and a thing on his face. Thing? You know. A beard? Yes. Oh, yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Wah, 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 wah. It's funny because Ritzman's got a beard. Madam, 
I believe you are insane. Well, I have to find him. It's all part of the cure. Now that you mention it, I think I may have seen him. Look, uh, give me a note so I can arrange for him to meet you. See? And it's all just another part of his cunning plan to get this note from some random woman which she's going to use for some random purpose later on in the game. It all makes sense, you see. Everything makes sense. God damn it. Right, let's get out of here. Go do something else that's really sensible. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, of course. Right, now we'll go to the city gate. Na naturally, we'll go to the city gate now. Um, incidentally, I've just realised I have no idea what task we're trying to achieve now. Because before, we were obviously uh, trying to get, uh, you know, detect the dragon and then get his gold. And we did that. And at that point on, it's like, what now? Uh, oh, wait. Well, I'll just... All right, show him the... No, show him the pass. So he'll let us out. There we go. And finally, we've left Unk Morpork. Ooh, brilliant. Uh, right, so we have to walk to the top of the path and get... Where, what path? Is this right? I'm guessing this is right. Okay. There we go, this way. Um. Uh, now can't we discuss this? You know, I, I've always wondered, just why are you crossing the road? What? Look, you can't frighten me. the luggage bad boy bad boy you, you, oh never mind whatever can i pick up the egg please thank you and this feather it's all critically important let's look at this critically important stuff we've got yeah looks like a plague rat's backside well either that or a signed portrait of the patrician's ulcer mm -hmm. i think it's a picture of a lard pie or maybe a hippopotamus dumpling yep yep this handwriting looks hauntingly familiar. Okay. It's a highly dangerous yet strangely attractive gunpowder keg. Mmm. That do oh. Fireworks? These I just must get at. What do you mean? You've got them. You don't need to get at them. By offler. This egg's gigantic. I bet that hurt coming out. Mm. A cockatrice feather. Right. Uh, yeah. Hey, I know. Just for laugh. That doesn't... No. That. Ah, tis a shame. You know you do that later somehow. Uh, right, let's get back down the mountain. <sighs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. And then we've got to go to the dark wood. Ooh, ominous. Oh, another frog. I must eat it. Perhaps it's time I sang about my favourite things. Really? That's your response to looking at a frog? That doesn't... Never mind the ominous eyes. Looking at frog makes you scared. <laughs> oh, and that also looking at water. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Ooh, some toadstools. Ooh. <laughs> that... Yeah, you just keep using the same punchline. Just like you have for the rest of the game so far. <laughs> Great. Okay. Nanny Og's house, I presume. Oh, yes, of course you'd presume that scene as I don't believe you've ever met. Or even know of her existence, but never mind. Right, next time on Let's Play Discworld, I go through that door. Uh, okay, see you next time. Bye.